welcome to the program uh, uh, mukul let me start by asking you to describe the first response of sharukh khan when he discovered as a father not as one of india's biggest names that thanks to you his son is going to be finally coming out of custody uh, see the the high court the, the high court announced the order uh in in the hearing itself so after that and it was flashed obviously across the media and across the nation instantly yeah. so i mean sharukh khan knew it much before i told him or i met him so i went uh, from the court and uh, i met him after half an hour and uh, then i obviously he had the news by then i could see that the tension of the last 3 days that i had seen on his face had disappeared he was smiling he had tears of joy in his eyes his voice was tremulous and uh, obviously he must have been on top of the world and uh, what did he say to you what did he say to you Yeah, I don't remember exactly, but he said things like, "Many thanks to you that my son is going to be out today. So many days have gone by. We have lived in tension, you know, apprehension, because mind you, this was the third court. The trial judge refused. It went to the sessions that refused. It came here. They had been rebuffed twice. Sometimes you know, hope starts dimming." and then you feel god knows when will the end come etc etc so that's what i had seen in the last two or three days and uh, he held my hand very tightly etc etc i mean like you know any father would do that's what happened. what about uh, what about his wife aryan's mom uh, you know she has no, not I been so much in the meet, limelight yeah i did yeah i did not meet her but uh, obviously she must be feeling the same uh, thing and uh, uh, but i must say that sharukh spent a lot of time in our legal meetings on the starting from the morning of tuesday 8 am because i was in london i landed in the early hours of tuesday and i started my meetings at 8 am on tuesday so i spent time in the morning he was there in the meetings all the meetings with the, me and my legal team that is tuesday morning tuesday evening wednesday morning wednesday evening thursday morning and then the saga ended on thursday evening at 4 o'clock he was very yeah. much there taking full part making notes giving me notes which he typed himself etc etc so that was rather uh, interesting to see coming from a mega star that he was taking so much interest in so he was in he was involved in the brainstorming and 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 absolutely, doing some of the hands on note taking himself absolutely hands on he was describing the past the background aryan's friends how both of them went together Uh, in a car at what time when did they reach the terminal what happened etc etc that's how it happened very interesting uh, now mr rothiki your defense and your line of argument in court focused very much on what you said was the absence of conscious possession you very interestingly did not get into all the accompanying controversies of this case namely the presence of a bjp worker and a private dodgy private detective who has since been arrested who was taking selfies with aryan khan you must have seen those viral videos as well how come you did not focus on these issues in your line of defense when they have taken away many people believe the credibility of the ncb investigation see barkha <clears throat> one has to take a calculated call on your strategy now this was a case where 25 days had gone by two rebuffs from two lower courts had happened these issues 
of selfies and gosavi and this and that and the dispute the running dispute with the minister and all that this had not really been raised in the courts below had i raised all these issues and opened different fronts there is no way that this case would have ended in a couple of days it would have taken a couple of weeks mind you this bail petition was moved last week the court directed it to be taken up on tuesday on tuesday morning at noon the ncb filed a reply in opposition i read it at lunch time and i decided to argue it without giving a written counter reply because hmm. time was running out after today the high court is closed for two weeks for diwali if i had raised all these new issues i guarantee you it would have gone off by at least 4 to 8 8 weeks because if you raise new and new fronts the other side has a chance to give a reply and you know it would become a bitter battle then the 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 issues of mr vankhede would have come in why did vankhede allow what happened then vankhede's dispute with the minister would have come in you know i we would have been in that crossfire and i decided i have a great case to argue so oh. i did need any further crutch to raise this that or the other if you have a great case to argue you argue a case and you move on so that was the strategy that i decided on and, and mm. well that kind you, of played out you didn't bring it up in court but what do you think of it because this case is going to trial right uh, he's out on bail this case is going to trial the, the integrity of the investigation will be a key no, part of no i don't yeah. know whether it will go to trial or not because there okay. is no material whatsoever against aryan khan there is no recovery to say that recovery of all is the recovery of aryan khan in a nutshell that was the argument of ncb that eight people were found in the ship uh, on the cruise terminal who had some stuff with them it will be deemed to be the possession of aryan khan without he knowing them without there being any talk conspiracy or meeting of minds that was too incredulous so if they sensibly look at the material then i don't think it's a case where it should be charge sheeted at all and if you look at it in a layman's term whatever it is he has been punished by by nearly a month of incarceration so there is no point in having a trial qua him but yes if a trial does take place and charges are pressed mm-hmm. then of course it's it's a long drawn thing and then of course in a trial because then the pressure of custody is not there right and then of course we will raise all these issues do you believe that um, you know that's that sharuk uh, coming to meet his son earlier at arthur road jail do you believe mr rotaki that samir vankade has uh, displayed vindictiveness what is your view as his lawyer on the leaked whatsapp chats that have been made the basis of ncb's entire argument yeah see uh, firstly those whatsapp chats have nothing to do with the incident of going for this particular cruise because the chats date back to between 6 months to last 3 years when this boy was in america so they have nothing to do they are irrelevant but yes it is it is disturbing to note that the chats were leaked from the office of the ncb because they took away the phone the chats were in the phone the defense was not given a copy of the chats so how come those chats were leaked that is a disturbing thing that is unprofessional on behalf of a, a prosecution agency when the time comes and should the need come or arise we will raise these issues but they were not required to be raised today can you set the record straight on the extortion allegation it's been the gravest allegation against the ncb no barkha as far as our case is concerned my instructions were clear there was no extortion demand or anything from uh, our clients and uh, these are charges which are flying thick and fast you know be- between the minister between vankhede and this unsavory murky issues of gosavi etc but no there was nothing against us and i didn't want to get involved or trade any charges without any concrete material